Hi, my name is Henry Hardes and today I'm going to show you guys uh, password policies in Administrator. So uh, why set up a password policy? Well, password policies help the administrator to secure this interaction center environment by setting up a specific password policy. Uh, that is uh, very similar to any Microsoft Windows password policies you would set up. Uh, mostly this one helps to secure the telephone user interface and I'm going to show you guys now in Administrator what it's all about. All right, see you just now. All right, so here we are in, a, in my demo environment. So uh, first thing, where is this password policy sit? Well, if I go here under uh, People Container, I click on that one. Uh, right underneath Workgroups, I find Password Policies. So Password Policies has got two containers in it. The first one up here is just the configuration. So I go into Configuration. And what I need to set here is... Um, well, it sometimes can happen that a person has two password policies assigned to him. Well, this way it can happen is, let's say on a user level, you've assigned him a password policy, but you've also assigned the password policy to a role, and now you add that user to that role, he'll inherit whatever has been added to the uh, um, to the role. So if he had a password policy on his username level and you've also assigned a password policy on the um, role level, well as soon as you add him to the role you'll inherit that password policy from the role. This will just say which one of the two now should I look at, should the system look at, the either the most restrictive one or the least restrictive one. That's all you set in here. So once you've chosen this in, uh, uh, setting, well, you're going to click on OK because that's just a configuration. And the next tab, of course, is where I set up password policies. Well, like anything else in CIC, I can right click and add a new password policy, or I can just use the default password policy that's already set up for me. Uh, most of the time, you don't add a new one because you're going to set up a password policy for everybody in the system, not individual password policies for individual people. So let's just go in that one. Uh, on the first tab, you get uh, the description. That is just the name that's going to appear in here. And the next one is uh, use, users must change their password at the next login. That's as soon as you assign this, they'll, they'll be asked to um, change their password and on the next login. So next tab is just password policy. Well, this is where everything happens. This is your password policy. Uh, first uh, option up here says minimum number of unique passwords before one can be refused. This means I cannot reuse 24 of my passwords. So I can only start reusing a, one of my old passwords on the 25th time uh, I'm setting up a password. Uh, minimum age of page of password before user can change it in days. That means if as soon as I change the password, I, he won't be able to change his password within two days again to something else. Uh, maximum password age in days, that is just a, how long does the password need to be um, active. So 180 days. Uh, the next one says uh, password age warning period. So how long before his password is going to expire do I want to start warning them about it. Uh, this is my minimum password length, minimum length. Eight characters and minimum number of unique digits, DTMF digits, four. I can only have uh, four unique digits in there. Then I can say allow all sequential digits if I want to. That's really not a good idea because uh, remember this, like I said earlier in the present, uh, in uh, this when I started, this password policy actually gets used to set up the telephone user interface, so allowing people to log into their voicemail facilities. So if you make this password policy too low or uh, not too strict, um, people can just easily get into your voicemail. And, and, and if you know CIC's voicemail, you don't want people to get in there uh, just easily because you can do a lot of things from your voicemail. So you can uh, forward your calls, you can change your um, statuses and all of that. So people usually can then break into your system uh, with this and use your system to do toll bypassing. Uh, and that's uh, really not good toll fraud. So you want to make this as secure as possible. Um, the next tab is called Account Logout. Well, that's just what it is. Maximum number of log failed attempts before it count is locked. So I'm going to, and now by default, it ours is set to five. So I'm going to give him five retries uh, if he gets his password wrong, and then it's going to log him out for a half an hour. And this one, yeah, the lo lo failed login account reset time is since the last uh, failed attempt, I'm going to give him a half an hour before he can try again. So he tries once, I'm going to give him half an hour, then he can try again. 
I'm giving half an hour, then you can try again, and so on. And that, uh, if I, if he reach, reaches the last attempt, I'm going to give him another half an hour before he can try it again. So that's really what that is all about. Uh, and the next tab is the user and uh, role uh, tab. Well, that's just that where this is where I assign this password policy to either the user or to a role. So if I go in here, I can add and say add this to uh, Joel Adams, and now Joel Adams must adhere to this password policy. Or I can go in here and add this password policy to a whole role and say all my agents needs to adhere to this password policy. So anybody I now add to my agent role will get inherit this password policy as their password policy. Well, that's it. That's the, uh, this is how simple you set up a password policy in administrator. We'll stick around for some more just-in-time videos, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.